Hello everybody and welcome back to the Invincible. Yes, a bit of a hiatus on this one, but we're finally back. And if my memory remembers, uh, we are in Condor, uh, which, was, uh, which is a ship by the Alliance, for the Alliance, landed by the Alliance. Uh, and then they all piled out of the ship and went off to search for mysterious samples and things um, using their various machines that uh, turned against them uh, and, and killed them. And our character Yasna is still alive and still kicking and still, well, now exploring the Condor. We shall continue. That's right. We were fighting the metal insects uh, and uh, I don't think we won so um, we flew away in a damaged saucer as it says at the bottom there and um, we wake up and um, and Yasna is all alone so where did the other guy go hmm. this is what we're going to find out ladies and gentlemen oh I miss this game Oh, I really did. So, we are inside the Condor, and we've already got a signal. Oh. And maybe some dead bodies. Is that what the um, instrument's picking up? I think it is. I think. Is it? No, it's picking up something else. Oh. I mean, respectively, you would have covered the you know, all of the body. I don't know. Maybe they do things differently in the uh, whatever timeline this is. Okay, well, we're getting closer. There's something up here. I'd imagine I can tap that, but I don't want to tap that. Pua! Hi. You're an automation. I assume this goes all the way around. Bend it, that's big. That's right. Um. Ship sent out. Uh, ah, something called a cyclops. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, but you won't need this anymore. Okay, cool. And our comic strip has been updated. Yeah, let's just see what else. Are in here. Okay, yeah. So it was picking up that body. Oh my god, it's dark. Oh, look at these. Oh, it's like War of the Worlds, but not. I tell you what, the Alliance are pretty damn prepared. Okay, I've just done a full circle. Ooh, right thing. Okay. I press a button. Standing aside. Can I crouch? No. Just checking. I haven't been able to do that in the other videos, so there we go. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Half expecting one of these robots to sort of pop out of the elevator and go, Bleh! Deck. That's right, we've got to get to the bridge. Let's see what else we've got. Well, let's go up. Deck. Next stop, Rahitra. That was the guy's name. Rahitra, yeah. So he's somewhere on the ship. Let's see the tracker. I don't know if that's new or the old one that we found. Oh. I'm blinking or I blacked out. Oh. Okay. Not quite at the bridge yet, but I'm getting closer. Much closer, Rahitra. So, I think I've blacked out for a bit there. Ooh. Oh, door's behind me. Inactive elevator, okay. Right, so I, I'm not there yet. You three, anything on the 
tracker. Uh, uh, med. Med bay? Yes. It must be the medical wing. Surprisingly, everything's still running. Was for a hitcher here. Minor announcement given to the general public courtesy of the command. Important. Lost a Delbana brand watch with a starfish-like dial face. In the family for four generations. Oh no. Repaired once by a father who was a watchmaker. Worn by his astrophysicist son. The phenomenon of cosmic time dilation does not diminish the sentimental value of the object. Nor, according to current research, does it give any chance to go back in time and not lose the artifact. The kind finder is therefore asked to return it. Jarko, second deck, astrophysicist. Right. Please return the watch immediately. Okay. So I have a feeling. Is this going to go? No, this is very dark. Okay. Ah, oh, another card. Yes. Different sections. Different elevator cards. Ah, oh, they really overdo it with the security measures around here. I guess I still have some time to look around. I think I'll do that. I found the bridge card. Guess that was lucky. Okay, let's have a look. Block A, block B. Can't. Can I go in here? Oh yes, I can go there, okay. Oh, what's all this rubbish? Uh, Lyra. Yes, lots of numbers. Good. I don't like numbers. I like numbers, but I don't like them. Through Skull Interneural Simulator, or TIS. Commonly known as the Grave Tapper. Ah, this is what they spoke about, I think, in the first or second episode of this. Function. Registering the last conscious records of an already dead brain. Method. Sending electrical impulses through those nerve fibres, which, in the terminal state, formed a functional entry. Entirety. That's what that says. One should proceed along the lines of the following scheme. Use TIS. Bless you. Pardon? Uh, to cleanse... Actually, I thought I saw something. Uh, the skin on a deceased forehead mm. attach six flat electrodes with elastic tape to areas labelled in the scheme. Set dials in the apparatus according to the provided values and activate TIS by pushing the start button. This is how to turn on a PS5 or something, I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> take, uh, take on headphones attached to the apparatus. Yes, it is. Observe the last records. Of the deceased brain. Interesting. I'd love to do that. Is that a film called Twelve Monkeys? Didn't, didn't they, that happen? Anyway, attention! The foregoing manual should be applied only in the case of a recently deceased or a deceased in an early stage of decay. The results of this examination are deemed uncertain and potentially unethical. Right. So, in other words, don't do it. Okay, that's Lou. Oh, let me out. Okay, you don't know. I see. I'm going to assume. Yep, yeah, the ones with green lights we can go into. Ooh, shiny. It's a bit Doctor who -y there, isn't it? Something else to read. Reapplication for permission to develop private projects. I said that well. I hereby submit the second request for permission to proceed with the development of the reading devices. I tentatively named Optone and Lectone in big. I would like to challenge the opinions of the higher up engineers who claim that my concepts were mere fantasies and a collection of ideas lacking real functionality. I have created a prototype of the Optone in big as evidence of its feasibility. 
I wish to reiterate the foundations of my concepts. I firmly believe that the bold visions of the fancy writer working under the pseudonym Lem can be executed. The entirety of cosmic knowledge will no longer be preserved on materials of natural origin. Books will take the form of crystals inscribed with their content. These crystals can be read using the aforementioned optone in big. I am designing it to resemble a book, but with only a singular page between the covers. Hmm. A single touch will be sufficient to turn the page. Right. Like a Google Fire book or whatever you call it. <coughs> its advantages. This will be a faithful simulation of the reading experience and remarkable space-saving solution in our libraries. This will significantly expand our knowledge, storage capabilities, thereby giving us a competitive edge in the interplanetary arena. Thank you. Note, for the presentation purposes, I will include the content of the story in honor of the Invincible winning the Optone in big. Second concept verified by me is a reader with an audio playback function. So, audio book. It may be dedicated to those who are at the helm of ships and wish to pass a travel time, broadening their horizons through literature. Consequently, consequently, I do not rule out the possibility of presenting the story in an audio format. Eh. In summary, I kindly request a favorable consideration of this application and the scheduling of a presentation date immediately after our departure from Vita 3. Bit so that I can probably continue with the development work on Optone in Big and Lectone in Big M. Oh, got to be James Bond there. Oh, right. Fascinating stuff. Oh, that's a uh, brain from a probe. Yeah, let me out. Okay, so we've been there, I think. Yes, we've been that way. But we haven't been this way. Okay. What was that? Oh, that. Okay. So, any areas in green? Uh, someone tried to eat soap. Ugh. Well, soap would be very happy. So the, the, that's the end of his um, Call of Duty reign. Hey! Someone's been eating my ear! Anyway. Uh, dog. That's what it says over there. Uh, oh, talks about the atmospheres. Ooh, can't go in there. Damn. Also to note, um, I have put my visor up, but we are inside a structure with breathable oxygen. Ah, someone's been shooting. Oh. Hi. Can I have that? I think you've been dead a while. Yeah. Sorry about that. Right, what does this say? Medical note. The patient on the day of admission. Organ function, normal. Body temperature, normal. CRP, normal. Visible anxiety disorders. Uh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Affecting dysphony, dysphonia? Whatever the hell that is. Accelerated ECG. Lowered Benflurex. Ingredient in toothpaste, probably. And sleeping problems. Yeah, got all that. Don't know about the others. Interview. The patient has been depend deep deepening his knowledge about the reversal in astrophysical phenomenon, phenomenon throughout recent years. Three weeks and two days ago, he formulated a theory of a white hole. The antithesis of a black hole. According to the patient, a white hole expels what has been absorbed by a black hole. A 
and when a white hole and black hole move close to each other, a tunnel may appear in between them. Hey, never heard of that. Is that true? I don't know. Hmm. Diagnosis: anxiety neurosis caused by severe stress, a strained work of the brain in the evening or night hours, and body fatigue. Yep, got all that. Conclusions: some, maybe more. The patient did not define what kind of formations potentially expelled by a white hole and previously absorbed by a black, black hole. Oh, yeah, yeah. Get my teeth in. Right. See that? The itch. Brand new. Mm. And the tongue. Mm. Implicitly in another dimension. Caused such a strong anxiety reaction to. He also didn't specify a reason why the mentioned tunnel would threaten his sense of security. I thought it was because of their sense of humour. Never mind. However, his repeated words and created drawings indicate a direct connection between the hypothesis and anxiety neurosis. Recommendation. Immediate discontinuation of research. Closed medical observation and anti-stress therapy. In case of no improvement, a monthly hibernation. <laughs> God, yes, that sounds... Wonderful. Um, ah, yes. The new streaming setup. And welcome to the Invincible. Well, oh, never mind. Oh, there's another one. There's multi gaming platform. Okay. Nothing poppy up in here. Oh, lots of dead personnel. Okay. So satisfying. Oh, can I get that? No. Okay. Ah, what's this? So, oh, wait a minute. Ah, maybe it's this guy. Let's have a look. The machine introduces point magnetic impulses into the brain, causing a depolarization current, which stimulates the selected area of the cortex, in as well as other areas. Consequently, tissue neuroplasticity and neurogenesis will increase. Primarily, hypothesis. This method will allow subjects to learn language again and understand complex social situations. I need this. Covering memory, however, is impossible. Oh, interesting. Yes, this is what I need. What machine are you referring so apparently to? Apparently there's oh. hope. We can... No. Wait. The memories won't come back. So much for the hope. I like the first bits. Yeah, give me anything that will um, improve social uh, interactions with anybody. <laughs> uh, Asthma's brain shows activity similar to those of a newborn. Hmm. Will re-simulating the brain restore consciousness? Hmm. Treatment. Transcranial neural simulation. Oh, TIS. No, that's not it. The use of Grave Trapper. Potential restoration of cognitive abilities. But what about memory as well? According to that piece of information over there, no joy. Protection against the flies. Electric camouflage. The wiped out brain shows little electrical activity. And according to the latest report, flies are no longer interested in their victims. Ah, because humans are filled with electricity. Yeah. Conclusion. We need to hide the activity of healthy brains. Cap of invisibility. Thin metal mesh under the hair. Emission of weak electrical impulses. Imitating in the raised brain. Tin foil then. No available test objects. Without further tests, this is just a prototype. I'll do it. I'll do anything, me. In fact, I'll do anything. And everything. Oh god, I, yeah, I forgot I could run. Shit. Ooh. Window. Brick it, dude. Look at that view. Can I see where I started from? Look for the needle. Could be on the wrong side. It might be over there. No. Maybe over there. I think if it was, it would have become a point of interest. 
I'm not sure if my vision is actually that acute. That of a Vulcan. Um, not a Vulcan. Um, bird. Get the idea. Are you right? You just poke your own eyes out. A plague commemorating the... Oh, plaque. Thousands voyage of the Alliance beyond the solar system. Pay tribute, remind... Get out of the way. Uh, ah! During every field mission, please keep in mind the universal moonwalk regulation. <laughs> okay. Wait, is it telling you how to do a moonwalk? That's... Okay. It's a dodgy door. Okay. Block H. See, I'm not sure... Am I progressing forwards? I'm not entirely certain. They do love to smoke, don't they? Mm. Smoking some lemmies. Some more cards. Ah. Huh. This soporific could be useful. Although I prefer not to have to use it. Ooh. Okay. Rohitra must have given them something to calm them down. As he did in the hideout. Hmm. H, okay. Oops, note here. Professor Asthma. Found outside the base on the 24th day of the mission. Symptoms, lack of awareness. Akinsia? Don't know what that is. Mutism. Amnesia. No response to complex stimuli. Cause unknown. Wake up set to the 46th day of the mission. Time for research. Process 22 days. Ah. So I believe the stupor was in play. I don't think I can get that one. Okay. Did I get this way? Did I... Oh yeah, okay. I don't think it went... This way to shower. Oh yeah, that's right, okay. So, yeah. Okay, alright. So I think... Yep, so I've explored this area. Ah! Has that now become available? I think so. I think we're okay. We picked up a syringe. Don't know what that's going to do. Okay, B1. What's L2? Oh! Oh! Were you deliberately trying to slow me down? I didn't design these elevators. <laughs> no, that's not it. You can clearly control them, but <sighs> never mind. Where is he? Oh, is that? Okay, Dear Redfield, I'm ready to activate spherical thrower. In. Rahitra. Here. There he is. Hang on, I'm going to have a look around. Wow, this is. Huge. This is a grand scale of everything. Yes, Engines. There, there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just, yeah. I'm having a look around. You're okay. Did you have a note? Oh, so I see. Oh, this is all. Okay, one bit. Okay. So we've got missiles, telecom. Oh, I've come all the way around. That's interesting. Communication. Shields, I'm guessing. Telecom. Command. That makes sense. Is he showing? Now that you're here, why don't you help me? With what? With the probes. You're over the battlefield. I do have visuals from the Cyclops here, but I can't do everything on my own. Oh, wait. Activity's increasing. They're coming. Are you helping or not? Come on, Yasna. It's about to start. I can't wait any longer. Um. Oh, I need to contact the commander. Um. No. You're on your own. I'm gonna call my commander. Fine, suit yourself. Just don't disturb me. Where can 
I find? You can handle it. <clears throat> right, we'll be down here. Yeah, so communication did spot that. Okay. Oh no, what's this? Ah, uh, ha, ha. Ah, so do I need to. Oh, okay, so. Oh, hang on. Okay, there's four. Yep. And. D. A battleships. Condor over. Bingo. Novik speaking. The IC Dragonfly unit commander. Condor, are you there? I see you're picking up the signal. Astrogator, it's me. I made it to the Condor's bridge. What about Rahitra? He's here with me. Has it slowed down at all? On the contrary. There's going to be direct conflict. Any moment now. That's all good. May I suggest you... Uh-oh. Uh, did you hear that? Yes, yes. It's hard not to. Oh, what a fucking mess. I must check on him. Copy that. The waiting contact. Okay, so re-establish contact with our astrogator. Is he still alive? Yeah, he's still alive. Rahitra? What's going on? I don't understand. It was going so well. Is it over now? The field held? It got so many of them. It's gone completely mad. Now it's wandering around aimlessly. Sounds familiar. Oh. Uh. They look... enraged. Yeah, pissed off like hell. Listen, I connected with my astrogator. We need to talk about what's next. I won't leave it like this. I guarantee you. Hmm. Rahitra, your men are on their way here. On the Invincible. I've heard that before. Turns out it was true all along. Ah. Oh. Uh, They're flying it. here. Do you hear me? Can I get rid we'll of this? We'll sort everything out. So, Horpak is flying here with company? What an honor. And when will they arrive, if I may ask? A couple of days. Uh. Oh. I, um. I don't know. Oh, I can't remember. They'll be here soon. That doesn't help me much. Look, we'll no. come back to that later, Brahitra. Just have some patience, okay? For once. I'm going back to the radio. Okay. I'll see you in a moment. I'm back. The fight is over. Well, I think I know the outcome. I'm registering increased activity from the cloud. Yes. I wonder what would happen if we did actually... A complete fiasco. What we were this was to be expected. You didn't expect the attempt to succeed, did you? Hmm. We want to know when the Invincibles... Okay. If you had seen Rahitra, it was like all the energy had drained out of him. Uh, maybe that's a good thing. Should cool his impulsiveness, right? I guess so. Do you think he's finally ready to talk? I'd like to talk to him. Okay, okay. I'm switching you to the bridge. He should be able to hear you now. Ah, that's better. Hello, Condor. This is Astrogator Novik, commander of the IC Dragonfly ship. I repeat, this is Astrogator Novik to the crew of the USCA Condor Cruiser. Oh, who's that? Please come in. <laughs> Could you stop with all these? Rohitra, engineer Rohitra. Among our crew, I'm the last man standing, so to speak, which I guess makes me commander. <laughs> Who would have thought? In that case, I'm making an official request to join our forces. To prevent the danger that threatens both sides. Oh, enough, Novik. That's enough. I agree. Officially and all that jazz. We're already taking steps to eliminate the threat. So far, however, your crew has not been cooperative. Mm. Anyway, we stopped playing defense and took the fight to them. The cloud suffered significant losses. As a counterattack, though, mm. it disrupted our community. So we formed an alliance. alliance. <laughs> Playing defense sounds a lot better than we're getting our asses kicked. <laughs> Doctor, not now, please. Oh. No, it's true. Fighting Sorry. against the cloud is exceptionally difficult. Yes. But any Where opponent can be defeated. All it takes oh, is the right shit. to. Meaning what exactly? Let me remind you that we're dealing with a dispersed entity whose technological prowess is still unknown. 
and it has so far destabilized every machine sent its way. Even the most specialized ones. Mm. That's why I'll keep it simple this time. No electro brains, no memory, only pure energy. You still have an answer, New Litra. <laughs> Please, just tell me straight. What are you up to? I'm arming the charges. Arming what? Explosives, plasma munitions? Hydrogen. What? Rahitra? Oh. Are you serious? Damn right. Uh, 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 uh. I won't leave all this unresolved. How many warheads do you have? 54. Uh -huh. From 30 kilos to 100 megatons. Oh, Jesus. Oh. That's quite enough. We really do have enough power. That's an understatement, Doctor. Uh, um, An amount of energy could rip the planet to pieces. I'm not no an way. idiot. I won't send everything at once. I'm preparing eight smaller warheads to start with. And then? We'll see. Hmm. Are you sure this is a good idea, Rahitra? <sighs> Listen, no. Yasna, <laughs> I know how it must look to you. A hot-headed guy from the Alliance who wants to use nukes. But put yourself in my shoes. I have two dozen hours tops of complete situational awareness. I'm taking action here and now based on my best judgment. I don't know what will happen later. Where will I wake up? In what condition? So I'm going to avenge my people before that happens Probably and ensure the safety of those who survive. Pieces, they all <laughs> deserve better than this. I know you understand. You're like me. You would do anything for your crew. I understand, yes. Although it's hard to talk about revenge here. We are dealing with creations of necro-evolution. Mm -hmm. Dead evolution. And probably non-sentient ones. Taking revenge on the cloud is like... Whipping the ocean for sinking a ship? Exactly. <laughs> like Xerxes. That's why I would consider this problem in the category of neutralization. Not vengeance. Uh. After all, nothing guarantees the flies will stay on Regis Three. If they continue to evolve. Wait a minute, Doctor. Even if they were to master space navigation, wouldn't it take hundreds of thousands of years? Millions of years, even, considering the evolutionary timeline. However, they could threaten humanity much sooner by sheer chance. Not a chance I'm willing to take. Let's not overreact. If we factor in sheer chance, we might as well get killed by a meteor. Hmm. No, Novik. It's not a meteor or an ocean or a storm. They don't hunt or degrade or cripple you mentally. You and Hitra are still reasoning as though we were standing face to face with a thinking opponent. What if these beings are not our enemy at all? Oh, good one. Are <laughs> you forgetting how many of us they've already killed? I will never forget for Hitra. So I can't help feeling that they operate without any strategic plan. They attack from one incident to another. They're non-sentient, as the doctor put it. So what, they're stupid? And that's why they can't be hostile? It's absolute nonsense. Well, it could be. Yes, sir. What do you think? Hmm. Who's the a prick yourself? <laughs> um. Well, we don't know that. Well, we, we don't know this either. Let's go with the third option. Horahitra, you have no idea what we're up against. These mechanisms are just doing what they did a millennia ago. And we were the ones that provoked them. What? How? By coming here with all our gear, blasters, transmitters, rockets. Uh... It's like kicking a hornet's nest. They've faced oh, countless go. species over millions of years. At this scale? Humanity is just a blip to them. Wait, what species are you talking about? Dr. Yasna found various traces of conflict, lasting for hundreds of thousands of generations. Um, list is long. Oh, they certainly competed with the local fauna. We've seen fish that evolved to sense electromagnetic fields. Mm. And underground, I found fossils of lizard-like reptiles. It's true, Some of did. them must have been predatory. Well, I find it hard to believe that any prehistoric well. reptiles would possess our level of technology, not to mention an arsenal. Well, they wouldn't have, but there were other machines here as well. Other machines? I don't buy it. 
It's like some robot fables. No, Richard, these are no fables. We have gathered evidence for this. <sighs> How did these machines even get here? Who built them? A cyberneticist had a hypothesis before we lost consciousness. About the Lyrans. Yes, Bella. Lyrans. Lyrans. It does ring a bell. Wasn't there a book about them? The Kraven's monograph. According to his notes, before the explosion of Zeta Lyra, the sixth planet of the system was inhabited by intelligent beings. Let's say their scout ship landed here and that a disaster occurred. Some kind of reactor explosion, chain reaction. Suffice to say, the wreckage that landed on Regis 3 had no living beings on board. <sighs> Only the machine survived. And then what? They started bashing in each other's tin heads? Doesn't make much sense to me. Machines don't have emotions. They don't argue. First things first. Millions of years ago, some highly advanced race sent machines to Regis III. And these were specialized homeostatic mechanisms, left with no one to command them. Closer. As an engineer, you know well how it is. A robot does what it needs to do, whether it serves someone or not. At first, they probably just repaired themselves or built a home for their dead masters. Until something forced them to change. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Certain types of predator eat anything that moves. So I'm betting they were attacked by a local fauna. The key was that these machines had the ability to produce others as needed. To combat, say, flying reptiles, they started producing flying machines. Uh, that still doesn't explain why they started fighting among themselves. Adaptability. Since they already defeated the living organisms, why keep producing themselves? It makes no sense. What's a guiding principle of a homeostat? Uh, I don't... Uh, that was a rhetorical question. <laughs> Thanks. It's all about survival and changing conditions, even the harshest ones. Further forms of necroevolution were no longer threatened by the local fauna, but they had to find sources of energy. And materials from which they could produce replacement parts and offspring. Originally, their descendants were undoubtedly powered by radiant radiation. But on Regis, there were no radioactive elements at all. Ah, uh -huh. sounds familiar. When the energy runs out, you have to wheel and deal. Yes, the default source wasn't available anywhere. So they had to look for an alternative. There was a severe energy crisis and and a conflict among the machines. Oh. Simply put, they fought to survive. Exist. That's what evolution is all about. About selection. Wait, Doctor. What We've established sense. that these beings are mindless. Shouldn't the organisms with the most developed nervous systems win the game of evolution? In this case, instead of a nervous system, there was some kind of electrical one. But the principle remains the same. Uh, not exactly, sir. The most advanced of the mechanisms that landed here derived energy from their own radioactive resources. Simpler devices such as small repair systems could have had solar panels. And in that case, would have had a significant advantage over the others. But the other ones could defend themselves. They could attack. With atomic power. Yes, that's possible. But I see it differently. In necroevolution, the most successful beings were those that excelled in miniaturization above all else. Also, the sedentary creations, the former gave rise to the cloud, huh. which the flies form when necessary in pursuit of a common interest. Meanwhile, the sedentary ones gave rise to a peculiar species of metallic vegetation. Uh. Those structures formed the city. So, it's still functional? No. For some reason, the city lost a fight for survival. And now, there are only rusting remains. Only one form survived. The microbots that conquered the land on Regis III. So, these flies just adapted best? To the conditions of this planet. Yes, that's how it works. So, Evolution, baby. to summarize, some alien race sent advanced robots to Regis III. The local... Dinosaur-like monsters tried to eat them, so the robots produced other robots, which produced more and more robots, until they fell victim to their own overproduction, 
After a number of iterations and wars for resources, yeah. they spat out the murderous cloud, which yeah. took over the planet. Yeah. Indeed. To put it simply. To me, the matter is perfectly clear. <sighs> is it? it makes no sense to bomb these creatures. Ah. I'll even say it's a greater danger to us than to them. I but how so. else do you imagine defeating the cloud? Well, that's the thing. I don't. It's invincible. Yes, sir. Do you agree? Well? I mean... Surely, if you launch all these bombs into the clouds, that is giving them, the flies, all the energy that they're looking for. I want to say there is a chance, but it's small. If this is going to work, the attack must be all out. What are you saying, Doctor? After a sufficiently powerful explosion, the ocean waters will begin to vaporize. Oh, Cloud shit, yeah. cover will increase. The albedo will rise. And the resident symbionts won't be able to provide the minimum energy needed for reproduction. So yes, we can destroy the cloud. Ha, uh, I knew it. Uh, Along with ourselves. Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> you don't think we can defeat them and survive? Technically, we'd have to wipe out the entire planet. Uh, That's not our goal here, is it? No, it's not. So you think there's no point trying with smaller charges? Frick. Um, it wouldn't hurt to try. Oh, God. I don't know what to do. Um, I kind of want to see it. But it would destroy everything else. Smaller charge? Is it worth trying with smaller charges? Oh, what happens if we don't attack? Ah, oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Do nothing. Um, bear with me. This could take a while. Um, oh good, the time doesn't run out. Um, ah, this is all on me, isn't it? Bugger. Provoke or nothing. Let's try it. I guess it won't hurt to try with a few small missiles. You guess, Doctor? Are you sure you want to risk it just to find out? It's not really a big risk, sir. Well, I still have significant concerns. Mm. But you're the one there, not me. Maybe I'm not seeing the whole picture. Well, sir. indeed, Novik. Mm. I knew Yasna yeah. would understand. Now give me a minute. I'm almost done. <laughs> okay, I'm not entirely oh. see these switches the ones on oh, no. the launch control unit uh, yes are you on me to do yeah them? i see do i use them to launch the rockets not yet we use a button for that the red one really oh god okay frick well i'm going for it no backing out well oh uh, sorry oh Did they launch? Oh, this is. Oh. Watch your eyes. Yeah, yeah, no, don't worry, I got that. Oof. That's a problem. Oh, God. Ah, blinding. That's either going to feed them this or really I can already see them melting. I don't think this is going to work. Take that, fucks. going to happen. I don't think this is going to work. I think that's going to make them worse. I don't think they were impressed by our efforts. What? Is this a joke? Uh, no one and nothing can... It's unbelievable. Uh-oh. They're really just invincible. Shh. Another fiasco. Shoot. This is not happening. It can't be real. They... Uh, the hatred they're flying this way. We have to flee. Oh, oh, we shouldn't to? have done anything. Into orbit. Do you have a landing pad in there? At the bow. All you gotta do is open the dome. Okay, go get the others. I'll take care of this. Uh, uh what am I doing? O open the dome. 
Um, where? Oh, I can't run. Okay. Where do I go? Where do I go? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, got it. Ah. Fantastic. Okay. Well, we've got to right escape anyway. Copy that. Right, right, right. Copy is on its way. Uh, Head upstairs, Doctor. What about the others? You'll wait for them in the lander. I hope they make it in time. Is Rahitra coming? I don't know. Oh, LP, landing pad. Okay, that's what that was. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Visor up. Yes. We've reconnected. Great. Hopper is just landing. Uh, just a few more steps. <sighs> oh. Hopper's uh, here. There's the Hopper. I'm the Hitler's team. I-I-I don't know. They're not here yet. What about Rahitra, though? You must fly away. Now! Oh, crap. Um... Wait, sh shouldn't I wait? Actually, that's cool. Yeah. Okay, um... Okay. Jasna, you have to... No! I know what you're gonna say. Just one more minute. I don't think we have a minute. Okay, which way are they going to come out from? This way. I think. Or over there. Come on, Rachel. Where are you? Okay, yeah, two ways to come. Okay. Oh, that's exit. So they... Anything? Oh, someone's coming. No? Maybe? I don't know. What's it picking up? Shit. Oh no, I wonder if I have to go back down. <sighs> no option. I think I have to leave. I think I know what's going to happen. I'm going to leave, or I'm going to set foot in the hopper. Like sort of most story games like this. They're going to appear from either side. My track is still picking something up. All right, I'm in. Watch this. Now close the hatch quickly. That's an order. Your death won't help anyone. I can't leave them. It's too late for them. Don't you understand? <sighs> Ready. I made it. Damn. Copy that. I'm starting the engines. Three, two, one. I'm inclined to think that bombing the um, the clouds um, wasn't such a good idea. Having ummed and ahed about it. Oh! That was unexpected. Oh shit, oh, I thought there was more. Ah. Oh. oh, maybe there is. Well, I can skip, but what am I skipping? Damn. I thought we were going to have a scene where we're back on the dragonfly. Oh. That's very difficult. Choices and decision makings affect not just your own life but everybody else's lives as well everything everything you do affects 
something, 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 something. I call the domino effect. It's either domino effect or butterfly effect. One of those. Something on the opposite end of the scale, I suppose, is a wheel of fate. Something that defy, something that decides something for you. But. Oh, I wonder if I can go back to this and not. Um, Sorry, I haven't looked at the cast. Um, yeah, what if I can go back and not launch those essentially mini nukes? What would have happened? So I'm wondering now if maybe the cloud is an intelligent source and maybe it has some sort of information that maybe they're going to try and give to us. I wonder if it's worth looking looking back. Let me just see where we're continuing from. They'll be here soon. Ah. That doesn't help me much. Look, we'll come back to that later, Rahitra. Okay, we're, we're have here. Have some patience, okay? For once. Okay. I'm going back to the radio. I'll see you in a moment. This is either going to take a while or I can look at this on my own. I might even just do a separate video on this again. So I think I'll, I think I'll do that. Okay, so we know where we are. That's fine. So I can use that as a, a point of reference. I'll do a separate video on this to get um, the other ending um, if there is anything different at all which there should be I'm not bobbing things that, that's um, clearly different so there we are we've got to the end of the Invincible I enjoy this game very very much so it is available on Steam um, but that's the thing I need to do maybe is put the links to where the game can be found in the description below but Nowadays, anything and everything can be found uh, very quickly just by clicking a button. Um, so, yeah, okay, so definitely going to do a separate video on that then, coming back for the additional ending. So, stay tuned for that. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That will conclude. The Invincible. I enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the series. Thus, I say we've got that uh, additional uh, video to come for the alternate alternative ending. So stay tuned. Um, let me know your thoughts below. Let me know if you enjoyed the game, didn't like it. Um, yeah. There we go. Let me know if you've read the book as well um, by S. Lenz. And uh, we'll leave this one here. So thank you very much for watching. Past plans of future watches. Like, subscribe, comment, and all that rubbish. Um, and let's get the watch hours up. Let's go for partner. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, cheerio.